Hey guys, welcome back. Um, so last in the last video, I did question one part E part one. In this video, I'd like to do question one part E part two. And that question asks to uh, calculate using a calculator. Otherwise, the exact value of the square root of zero point zero five two nine plus zero point two one six expressing our answer in standard form. So I went ahead and did the calculation. And so I'll just explain. Uh, I'll explain the steps I took. So the first thing I did was to find the square root of 0 0.0529. Um, you can use trial and error or calculator, and you'd get the value 0 0.23. We can just check that this is indeed the square root by multiplying 0 0.23 by itself. And when we do that, we do get 0 0.0529. So this is indeed the square root of 0 0.0529. Uh, once we have the square root, we just need to add the decimals. So we have so we have zero point zero point two three, and we are adding the decimals zero point two one six. Put a zero here. We have the same three decimal places for the both numbers. Um, 0 plus 6 is 6, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 2 plus 2 is 4. We're going to only point, and 0 plus 0 is 0. So you have 0 0.46. So this is the answer, but we need to express it in standard form before um, we have what um, they want us to have. So what is standard form? Standard form is just a way of writing very large or very small numbers that are inconvenient to write using standard decimal notation. Now this number is not that very small, so um, in practice we might leave it just so, but since the question asks us to write it in standard form, we'd go ahead and write it in standard form. Okay, so how do we write a number in standard form? Well, to write a number in standard form, we have to write it in the form e times a, fact, a power of 10. So e times 10 to the b. Now, e has a constraint on it. A has to be less than or equal to 1. Sorry, has to be greater than or equal to 1 and less than 10. All right? And B B is determined by the amount we had to the amount we have to move back the point to ensure that the value we have is the same value as the original number. So what does that mean? Well the number we have is 0. Point number we currently have is 0 0.446. Now a has to be a number between 1 and 10. 0 0.446 is not between 1 and 10. And so we have to we have to rewrite this number so that it's between 1 and 10. And that number would be 4.46. Right? So usually what we do to get the number between 1 and 10 is to put the decimal point um, right after the first non-zero digit in the number. So here, by doing that, we get 4.46. Um, if you put it after the second non-zero digit, then we'll get 44.6. But this number is greater than 10, so that won't work. If you put it after the third um, non-zero digit, you'll get 446 which is still greater than 10, and that number um, wouldn't work. And if we put it even further, further back, like 0 0.0446, then that number is less than is less than 1, and that number won't work. So the only number that um, we can rewrite this as and it would work is 4.46. Now, once we do that, once we write it as 4.46, the number changes value. Because 4.46 and 0 0.46 are uh, numbers with different values. We want the same value for this number. So we have to multiply it by a power of 10 that would give us back the, um, the num would give us back the original value. What power of 10? Well, to get this number, we had to move the point one place to the right. So to get back to the original value, we have to move back the point one place to the left. And to move back the point one place to the left, we have to multiply by a power 
of minus 1, 10 to the minus 1. Right, so this would move the point back to the left. Right, so how did we get here? We get we got here by moving one place to the right. So to get back to the original value, you have to move one place to the left, and this 10 to the minus 1 does that. <coughs> so this here is our standard form. Right? This is our standard form, and that is the answer.